from now on everything i do gonna be funky from now on well, i can be myself and do my thing good morning fellow democrats to committee chair Bur Burden, distinguished executive team members, and democratic activists from all over the state of California, in fact, the greatest democratic act activists in the nation, welcome to Los Angeles. As chair of the Board of Equalization, in combination with the Franchise Tax Board, we generate somewhere around $138 billion. We've taken on this thing called the underground economy, and we are prosecuting, investigating, and arresting folks and taking tons of illegal products off our streets. <laughs> However, my fellow Democrats, it saddens me to share that California has the highest poverty rate in the nation. Human trafficking, modern-day slave trade, is growing at alarming rates, and we are on the brink of war with Russia. And as you know, education is underfunded, underappreciated, and underutilized by far too many people. My fellow Democrats, I believe that in order to influence the future, we must make history in November, we have an opportunity to make history. We have an opportunity to take back the House. <laughs> to return Nancy Pelosi to her leadership position and to empower the President of these United States to influence this great country. This November, my fellow Democrats, we have the opportunity to influence immigration reform, the rights of working people to organize and to determine if this country will be a country of haves and have-nots, or a country where every person has the right to a good job, a quality education, and safe communities. I also believe, fellow Democrats, that power is measured by one's ability to empower others. But I have come to realize that we must first empower ourselves. We must become and we must be affirmative action. Because the greatest weapon known to mankind is the human mind, whether it be in boxers or in a skirt. We must have the power to perpetuate peace. We must stand in the gap between poverty and prosperity. Aristotle once said that the greatest threat to democracy is the lack of stakeholders in our society. And brothers and sisters, our society and our democracy will be a threat as long as the Republicans are in charge of the House. Because the Republican formula for success is fear, war, and division. When Republicans saw weapons of mass destruction, we Democrats, we saw massive deaths of American soldiers. When they looked to Sarah Palin, we turned to Hillary Clinton. Because as Democrats, we believe in the power of commonality, that no one stands alone, that people come before profits, and that peace is preferred to war, and that it is our duty to help organize labor, organize. And finally, as leaders of the free world, we believe that we are our brother's keeper. My fellow Democrats, we can make history and influence the world if we stand together one day longer than those who stand against us.
So Democrats, all over this building, will you please stand? I am going to ask that you take a pledge, and it is a simple pledge that I believe that we can honor every day of our lives. I'm going to ask you that you repeat after me, and that is, we will stand one day longer than those who stand against us. God bless California, God bless America, and God bless you.